Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strings. So, that um, game was, it was, to be real, it was, it was cool. You know, we 10 and 5 now. Um, but it was like the Falcons, so I really wasn't expecting much. Um, Huntley got a TD. That TD was still kind of questionable because that their ball was still moving, but they gave it to the Ravens. In all, really, to be honest, the whole game with the refs, I felt like they was on a Ravens side. They wasn't calling it down the middle. And that kind of, I was like, God dang, how obvious do y'all make him want to look what team you are rooting for? I understand like a home field advantage, advantage, but God dang, like dang. But um, good game, Ravens, uh, J.K. Gus, to me, they was the offense again. But the run plays stopped again. Uh, this is like, it's, it's ridiculous. Last week, he said, oh, go back. You can continue running the ball. This week, he didn't continue running the ball. How many QB draws did we see? He continually running Huntley. I'm like, dude, stop running the ball with Huntley. You already banged up Lamar. That's why he's not starting. Now, you banging up Huntley. I'm like, God, dog it. That's why I didn't even think Huntley was going to play. I thought we were going to see Anthony Brown. I put Anthony Brown with them there. I was like, well, he done banged up Huntley so much. But Huntley played. He had a, he had a decent game, you know. Um, once again, they didn't put it in his hands. His first throw, I remember it was just terrible. No pressure in his face. He just, no. A lot of his deep balls was uh, overthrown, like a lot of them was overthrown. But he did here and there, you know, gave made that one good play to Sammy Watkins, then he disappeared. He made that one good play to uh, Mandrews. Then Mandrews tried to appear again, but Huntley didn't throw it to him. Now, I know some people say um, Mandrews' feet wasn't set and stuff like that, but just throw the ball to him. You you don't know. You just don't know. That's why Mandrews was yelling at him. And two, to me, the uh, play Mandrews on that touchdown was supposedly the B touchdown. You know, we kicked a lot of field goals. Um, it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be a, a timing route. Because when Mandrews went in, then he, when he cuts out, the ball should have been there when he was cutting out so he can hurry up and cut, catch it. But it wasn't there. And then Justin Tucker got another block field goal. And to me, that's not on Justin Tucker. He's kicking against the wind, a 55-yarder against the wind. On top of that, the line just got punked on that play. They, they, they got punked. But, um, yeah, so let's look at some stats. Let's... See the overall. Let's see the overall. All right. So we have, hold on. Let me make it a little bigger so it can be clear on the screen. Whoa, it's too big. Die, die. Oh, Lord. Got me hitting stuff. All right. Tyler Huntley. Uh, nine complete. Nine complete, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, it's cold. I already see some people. It was cold and all this stuff. It was cold. It had to. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Um. Anyway. Uh, nine complete, mm, seventeen. That's that's like that's like my two K stats. I'm playing basketball when I'm just having a bad day. <laughs> one hundred and fifteen yards, one TD. That right there, that's one TD. That's rare. We haven't seen it in what three weeks, four weeks. For I'm talking about Forrest Huntley. Yeah, we. I think that's his first TD as the quarterback. Yes, yes. Gus the bus. 11 carries, 99 yards, 37 longest. J.K. Dobbins was cooking them. 12 carries, 59 yards. Tyler Huntley had 11. <sighs> this man had 11 carries, Lord. 
He had no reason uh, to have 11 carries. Tyler Huntley had no reason to have 11 carries. He matched Gus. You could take those 11. You possibly could get Gus, 6, JK, 5. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I do not understand it. Mark Andrews, three receptions, 45 yards, five targets. Sammy Watkins, one reception, 40 yards. Deshaun Jackson, one reception, 10 yards. Demarcus Robinson, one reception, 6 yards. Josh Oliver, one reception. <laughs> Justice Hill, one reception. Isaiah Likely, one reception. Look at that. They look at all them ones. Oh, my goodness. Drake London. Shout out to Drake. That ball. Oh, and uh, Aguilar or whatever. Falcon fans, that. Drake and Agler, special. They are special. They showed hard. But for us Ravens, that, that's. And people want Lamar to come back. I will not come back. I will not come back. This is who I'm throwing to. Other than Mark Andrews, this is who I'm throwing to. I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back until you fix that. And give me my money. But I'm not coming back. <sighs> but uh, the defense. Right off the back. Um, let's see who had the most. Ooh, that boy had. Fit, Raquan had 15. 15. God, he was cooking. Patrick Queen with a nine. Humphrey with a seven, Matty Buki with a seven, Clark with a seven. But McQuan was beasting. Good Lord. Now, but the defense overall, not bad. Um, Marcus, I said Marcus, Marlon Humphrey, uh, he played He played good. He, he was locked down to me. He was locked down. Uh, I know Drake made that good. Drake made a phenomenal catch. Humphrey was there. It was just a great catch, you know. So that Drake is going to be something special in the future. But uh, Marlon Humphrey with the fruit punch, you know, awesome. Um, Raquan was, man, that dude was everywhere. I didn't know he had 15 tackles, though. Good Lord, that's a lot of tackles. Woo, he was cooking. But, yeah, they got to sign that dude. Odafi Owe, I ain't know he had three tackles. I'm going to be honest with y'all. He had never sold us, too. I didn't even know that. Wow. But overall, um, cool game. Uh, we clinched the playoffs. So, y'all yeah, just be ready for us to uh, go in the playoffs and come right back out. And watch the rest of the playoffs with us. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I know some people are going to, man, Raven C, keep the hope alive, bro. We could do something. I, why, why I want to set myself up to believe that and then be heartbroken on the, on the end of that? I'd rather be already ready for the heartbreak. Then to get my hopes up. <laughs> Let's just be real. So, uh, everybody have a good Christmas. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.